Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 57 YouTube videos covering beginners, intermediate and advanced level concepts. From couple of videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real time scenarios where you might encounter with different types of obstacles while automating your test cases. How can we solve those obstacles whenever you automate your test cases by using Tricentis Tosca? So this is our obstacle 16 in terms of real time scenarios and this is our lesson 58 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca training. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. In this lesson, I am going to teach you a real time scenario where you need to solve an obstacle by interacting with Windows pop up by using window operations within the standard modules of Tricentis Tosca. So, let us see what is the obstacle that we need to solve for. So, here is the obstacle. The name of the obstacle is pop up windows and it is categorized as easy. Let us go for it. What is the obstacle? In order to complete this obstacle, you need to click the button labeled click me and close the new window that is subsequently opened. So let me click on this click me button as soon as you click on click me button it opens a window pop up so this window pop up title contains tricentis so we need to review this window pop up and close the pop up so you solve this automation problem so that is our obstacle that we need to solve so now let us go to tricentis tosca as usual we are going to scan all the objects of this particular obstacle under folder obstacles. So this is our module, right? Right click, scan, application. So this is our application. Let's select the application, click on scan. So for this obstacle to solve, we need the button click me, right? Let us select the button click me. This is our button. And what about the pop up window that is appearing? So we need not to scan the windows pop up. Why? Because we are going to handle the windows pop up by using windows operation that comes along with the standard modules of Tricentis Tosca. So whenever you purchase a license in Tricentis Tosca, so you are going to get the standard modules of Tosca along with the license. So you can use the standard modules and select window operations to operate the window in different ways. Okay, so that's why I'm going to add click me button, right? It is uniquely identifying. Let's see this click me button is getting audio identified uniquely, right? And then let us name this module with the name of your obstacle. Copy this. And here name the module with the obstacle name. Rename the module. And now let's save all the objects in the module. So let us close the X scan. So let's go back to Tricentis Tosca. So this is the latest module that we scanned. Double click on this. We can see here click me button we already captured. Now let us go to the left section which is a test case section. Okay. So right click on this. Sorry. So we are creating all the test cases under folder test case folder called obstacle 
double click on this so these are all the test cases that we automated for our previous 15 obstacles so i would recommend you guys to visit my previous 15 obstacle videos you can find the playlist in the description okay right click on this particular test case folder and create a new test case name this test case with the name of your obstacle and then double click on this test case now let us automate the test case for that we need to drag this module onto your test case to complete our automation let's drag this module and drop onto the test case that we created okay now expand this what is our first action that we need to perform we need to click on this button so here i'm gonna provide the value as click okay and then your action mode is input once that is done so as soon as you click you will get a pop-up so how can we handle this pop-up for that let's go back to our tricent tasca and let me bring these modules here so here if you scroll up whenever you purchase a license of tricent tasca you are going to get these standard modules expand the standard modules go to tbox automation tools and then within this you will have basic windows operations and here is tbox window operation so this is the module standard module that we are going to use to handle the pop-up windows so basically window based pop-ups we can handle by using tbox window operation standard module under basic windows operations so what i'm going to do i'm going to drag this standard module tbox window operation and drop on to test case now let us expand this step and here you can see the operations that we so now here we can see the operations that are available for any window in tbox what are the operations you can see here bring to front close maximize minimize normal wait on close wait on open resize move to center verify window exists so these are all the different operations that are available for your window pop-ups so now first we need to provide the caption what is the caption of so what is the caption of the win what is the caption of the window let's go back here you can see here the window caption is tricent is at the rate tricent is so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to use the regular expression to read this window title i can see here it has a tricent is as in string right let's go back to our tricent is tasca what i'm going to do i'm going to use the regular expression star which is a regular expression any string and then tricent is and then again regular expression star so here any string can be existing before tricent is and then after this any string can be exist after tricent is so now let us come to operation so first i would like to close the pop-up window but if i specify close the pop-up window here what happens right sometimes to open this pop-up window it takes time let us click on this one see as soon as i click immediately it is not loading the pop-up see it's taking some time and then it is loading the pop-up so that means it's going to throw an error message if you directly close the pop-up because it cannot identify the pop-up it is still loading so that's why i would like to use another operation before i close it what is that wait on open what it does is going to wait for the pop-up with title tricent with title tricent is to open so it waits for the pop-up to be open first and then you can see i want to perform close operation within the same test step by using the operation see as soon as i enter operation it is recreating the operation 
module so whenever you enter the operation immediately it creates another operation module right so i'm waiting for the pop up to be open and then i'm closing the pop up so now let us update the work state as completed and then save the test case and let me run this particular test case so before i run this particular test case if you see here if you see here the main obstacle module right whatever we scanned that also has tricentis in the page title so that's why if you specify tricentis it's going to close this particular web page instead of closing the windows or windows pop up so that's why what i'm going to do here in windows pop up i can see at the rate at the rate tri i can see at the rate tricentis right so i would like to take that as my caption so let's go back to our tricentis task huh? let us change this as at the rate tricentis right and then save this now let us run this particular test case right click and run see it is clicking on button and then it waits for the pop up to load see it waited and it closed so you solve this automation problem let me run this particular test case one more time let's go back here close this right click and run in scratch book so you solve the automation problem you can see all the test steps are passed in the test results so let's close this crash book this is how you can handle the window operations so this is how you can handle the window pop ups by using tbox window operation within the standard modules of tricentis if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries so you all understand the concept of resolving the obstacle where you need to interact with window pop up and how can we use window operations within your standard modules of tricentis task please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos don't forget to like and share the video thank you